What's going on folks, Painless, uh, doing an evening video. Uh, <laughs> a lot has gone on uh, that I feel uh, that uh, I would like to make some opinions and thoughts about. Uh, you know, many of y'all did, uh, many of y'all know I did the video about Kevin Samuels and his uh, his piece in which a female caller called and, and he gave it to a straight, no chaser. <laughs> You know, uh, just raw, alive, and uncut. But there's been a, a barrage of videos that men and women have done and, and voiced their opinions and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to get into a certain content creator. Many of you all, as I press play on here, will be familiar with her voice. And I'll also talk about other things. I want to jump in on the Lizzo breakdown that she had and kind of tie everything in together uh, about my thoughts about all these subjects. So just stay tuned. Listen to this. You, um, This person may sound familiar to you all. Stand by. Let's say she makes $200,000 a year. She owns her own pet business. So this is a woman who herself is, is successful. Like they act like she's acting they act like she's asking for some pie in the sky stuff. She she never said she's looking for, you know, some a list a list celebrity or some like, you know, male model. And it wouldn't even be safe for her to enter a relationship with a guy who doesn't make, you know, at least that much because then you get into situations where he might just be dating her because he wants his bills paid. It might get into like a, a using situation. It creates and thinking that abusive stand by folks this little ad I'm going to mute that I'm going to skip that well, why do I think getting the suckiest lives ever why am I turning to these people well, nope to make at least a hundred grand or else go for a guy that there's a zero okay i'm going to skip past this and get to the meat partner. we have higher standards than black women are socialized to we're not socialized to have any expectations or standards of black men if you disagree get in the comment section and let me know what's one expectation or standard that you were taught to hold black men to aside from eventually at some point marrying you the expectation isn't even that he provides not, it's not that he be loyal it's not that he be faithful it's simply that he marries you at some point and there is a lot of black women who will even settle for black men who won't marry them they will stay in these four five six seven year long engagements and they think that that's normal <laughs> when in reality they're dealing with a man who doesn't want to commit because if a man really wants to commit and marry to you he's not going to stay engaged to you to four five and six years so the bottom line of it is is we're socialized very differently and even when these non-black women go to black men they're taking the their socialization too is from essentially for different comments that we will discuss when we go live try and get in on this as well lol you obviously don't know much about my wife now the only thing that this man really did is came and let it be known that hey you're talking about my wife i want you to look at the response from this black man so he comes back and he completely submits he says well sir he addresses him respectfully your wife is off a lot but i will apologize for coming at your wife <coughs> okay okay that's enough of that uh you know <laughs> this is so hypocritical it's so obvious it's so obvious to the to the point folks to where i had to really sit down what I was doing and and before I forget because a lot of this stuff is meaningless um I like what Kevin I in fact I've been I've started to listen to Kevin Samuels now because I've seen him in passing on on YouTube and I, I, I dabbled and I'm you know I I'm beginning to get into or become acquainted with 
the talking points of the manosphere. Like, I've never heard of none of these guys. But what I've discovered is <laughs> I have more bullets for my gun. I'll just say that. No, don't take that little. But what I mean is that a lot of what they say is things that I've come to discover through trial and error. And they align uh, perfectly. So, uh, you know, I've, I've been listening to uh, AMS. I just discovered this brother maybe a couple weeks ago. I, of course, in Kevin Samuels. And what's going on now, folks, is, uh, and me being a single male, what's going on now is the, um, the cat's out of the bag, folks, in, in terms, in, in what I see and the subjects and, and topics that these guys are discussing. And they're aligning, it, it just, it's confirmation to painless. And many of you all know I talk about a wide array of subjects dealing with social, economical, um, political, um, things like that. But as of late, and it could be because of my situation within the last four years, uh, dating and uh, <laughs> uh, this sexual, sexual market value, I just discovered what that means, sexual market value. Uh, I was always practicing that, but I never heard anyone break it down. So what you just heard here, folks, from you heard the voice. What's ironic in this is the same woman that she chose to, and, and I'm going to just take this back as well. This particular content creator also used a video by a Asian male in order to prove her point. See, this is what happens with these situations. And this is what is the, you can go back to the crux of the situation that many black women find themselves in. See, this is where you messed up in the first place. This is where you messed up in the first place. You messed up in the first place by following disgruntled white women in a sexual revolution who felt that white men made more than them, that white women weren't represented enough in corporations and businesses and in said industries. So what you did was you created a problem that was never there amongst black men and black women. You created this turbulence, divisiveness amongst black men and black women. First of all, you accepted trinkets and, and crumbs from said state, capital S, no, lowercase s, getting into legalese language. But you accepted trinkets and crumbs from the state ushering out your men and I've said this before people don't believe that that there are agencies there are uh, tactics in which state funded employees will come down in whatever community Magnolia Manor I don't know Rain Tree Apartments and they will do unsolicited inspections of homes of women of color <laughs> to see if there are there are any men in the home. And when there is discovered that there are Air Jordans, Air Max, Playstations, Xboxes, Backwood rappers, if those are discovered, those women will lose said benefits and be OCS on city streets. So what you've done, 
you decided to jump on that sexual revolution. Following the coattails of disgruntled white women. And this is what you have. And the irony is that this particular content creator has used a woman who is the typical feminist white female that um, can't get enough in her eyes. The same women that you use in your series of this is who they choose. This is the same type of woman that she would plaster all over her all over her channel to use as an example to browbeat black men that choose to deal with, in her words, women of no color. That is the irony in this, folks. The irony is that they always go back to the ones that they call the problem. It's like the enemy of my enemy is your friend. So this particular content creator chose a woman in her words of no color who she lets it be known that she is no ally of. But despite black men, she uses her as a pawn, a potential ally. Let me jump back on that Asian man that she used. If you can just trickle through this particular content creator's videos, she used the Asian man in another plight, another scam, and tried to browbeat and show black men in a negative light. Ha ha, look at this Asian man of no color, as she calls, an Asian man of no color which I thought Asians were under this rainbow of people of color. But she's obviously trying to benefit her own rhetoric. She uses this guy, this Asian guy that looks like he's in his mom's basement, um, kind of looks kind of slow, quote unquote, but so long as that is a opportunity to advance her rhetoric and agenda, it's fine. And I'm not gonna play that video. You all heard the voice. You know who this is. You can go see for yourself. It's on there. But here we go again. This particular, where black women have <laughs> You know what? It's so apparent. It is so obvious. This is not a Where's Waldo. Waldo is sitting across from you at your dinner table. No need for a search party. Don't need a lifeline. No need a phone a friend. It's right in front of your face. You slipped. You slipped. See, when you begin to rattle off too much, and this particular person, and I've said this, that we're in a pandemic and people are upping their <laughs> content and they're running their mouths, they're talking, but see, they don't remember. And let me just say this. I'm going <laughs> to, many of you all know, this was maybe eight years ago. And I'm going to go, I'm going to dig through the crates on this. I'm going to pull out that record. And dust is, you better, you better close your eyes because dust is about to fly. Because I'm digging through the crates. I remember when Tommy Sotomayor, a certain female in that of Jeannie Burlesque. Now, the situation with Jeannie Burlesque was... There was something happened in which Tommy Sotomayor pointed something out. And she went on a rampage. She would not let up. She would not let up. She came after Tommy Sotomayor with a vengeance. And what did she do? I'm going to tell you what she did. 
she did exactly what this particular content creator has done. Ran to her so-called people of no color. <laughs> and which many of them do. We've seen this as of recent with Kevin Samuels, in which you had a woman of no color. No, a woman of color. Of color. And I'm using her own terminology, her own legalese. In which a woman of color ran to her mate of no color and for refuge, for validation, to call out. Kevin Sanders. How dare so with this man of no color who was with a woman of color low key came down on Kevin Sanders. Oh she's beautiful. I find beauty in her. How dare you say those things? And I said you know what folks we're living in a age of feels before reals. We're based in which we expect that from women to a certain extent, but now we're giving um, men are beginning are beginning to fall into this whole, unfortunately, of feelings before you know, rationality and thought and reason, which is problematic. I've said that in the last video I did in reference to Kevin Samuels. I said the biggest the biggest apps or the, or the opposers that you will have to deal with is not necessarily the women. It's these men out here who are capping, uh, these men out here that know that they're the only way that they will be able to get any type of play or sexual interaction is to be on the side of these types of women. And I will say to you guys that are um, practitioners of this, you will never be an ally. You are not an ally. You are just a pawn, a temporary pawn for the cause. They will slay you and throw you in the volcano as quick as yesterday. So that's enough about that. Moving on. But she's tried to use this Asian man Running back, oh, I was talking about uh, the man of no color. And see, this is what happens. And going back on the Tommy Sotomayor and Jeannie Bales story, which many of you I believe, have forgotten, but I'm going to jog your goddamn memory. So she, what she did is she went and corralled up a bunch of popular men of no color atheist YouTubers and they started going in on Tommy Sotomayor and I called that out because somehow I got pulled into this and I didn't mind. I've never had a problem with Tommy Sotomayor. Never. Me and him have mentioned each other in passing in, in our respective videos but me and Tommy Sotomayor has, has never collaborated. Tommy Sotomayor to me was someone that, and I'm nowhere near the, near the uh, popularity that he is, but we share some similar, similar views. Tommy Sotomayor was always the type of guy to me to, if we saw each other, he recognized my gangster and I, re I recognize his gangster. We'll maybe have a drink, chop it up, you got business, brother. I got business. Let's keep it moving. That's how it is. And not saying we're gangsters. What I'm saying is we recognize what we are, respectively. Chop it up. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, all right. I'm out. You out. Bam. That's it. We never collaborated. We disrespect each other's craft and our viewpoints. But nevertheless, see, this is what happens. This is where you messed up. This is where you find yourself in. You in the predicament because you rode that sexual revolutionary wave for these disgruntled Caucasian women who had beef. Well, you had no beef. The black man wasn't suppressing you. 
and giving you pennies on the dollar in terms of wages, but you rolled that wave. And now here you are, 50 some odd years later, many of you all are unmarried and still trying to choose. Stubborn, not in touch with reality. And here we have again a popular black female content creator using the same tactics, running to that white woman for agreements and validation, proposal, and look, here it is in presentation. When in, more, when in all instances, this is that very white, that very woman of no color, she would plaster her all over the place if she was a, with a man that looks like me or you in her This Is Who They Choose series. I want you to follow me. I want you to understand the irony in that. That... This See, this is when it gets so desperate when you start, I say the enemy of my enemy is my friend. See, this is what's going on now, and this is what happens when you're doing this for money and you need money for content. You begin to, you begin to be delusional and talk crazy. And in this move right here, this was the cherry on top because she talks about these women to ad nauseum, but yet she's using one to validate her point. The same woman, she would be saying, look at her, this is a guy, you know, I like white women, and look at her, but she's using this very woman that she would browbeat and, and denigrate and talk down on if a brother chose her, she's using and the Asian guy as well. It's not like she had, who's a Asian icon actor? I can't even think, I don't know. It's not like she used the best looking Asian guy. See, this is when you start picking that low-hanging fruit, folks. This is acts of desperation from this particular individual. And, you know, uh, the, the, when, you're in, when you're so engrossed and when you're so involved and it becomes fanaticism, when you're just, like, obsessed with a certain topic, uh, you begin to sound belligerent and you begin to do things that are... Um, um, not sane, and by this individual doing this, um, this is what it is, but you know what, I have things to do tomorrow, I'm going to cut it off, painless out.